Hey, what's going on guys? This is Kedar here. So, this is my adventure to get $30 4K camera. So, let's get right into it. So, I bought this camera used, listed as not working. Price was only $30 and it can record 4K, so I can't miss the deal. So, this is Panasonic Lumix TZ80 point and shoot camera. I bought this camera about a year ago and now that I'm checking the camera's condition, you can see the problem is system error focus and the lens goes in and out without doing anything. Now I have been playing a lot with this camera recently and I found two ways to solve this issue. First one being temporary fix while other is permanent. With the help of temporary fix, you can check the condition of the components of the camera and also you can play around with the menus and settings so that you can estimate whether you should buy or not buy the camera. And if your camera is not Panasonic or this particular model, well the chances are this trick can work on other cameras as well. Without wasting any time, let's get right in. By the way, I'm using this DCC9 battery which is compatible for uh, Panasonic GF2. Uh, this camera need, requires a BLD, BLG10 battery but as you can see I'm just forcefully pushing it and it works so this camera has a issue it has a system error so let me turn it on there you go so let me show you the error first system error focus I can't do anything with this error it's just locked basically so to get into the menu and do some settings and stuff, use the camera, temporarily uh, you can solve this issue. Let me show you how you can do it. So first of all, turn off the camera, turn on the camera and uh, when the lens start to extend out, go into the function Wi-Fi and uh, let the lens extend very slowly. Oh, If you don't do this correctly, you will get the same error. So yeah, let me show you. In. okay so let the camera lens extend function go into the Wi-Fi FM5 let the lens extend a little little bit okay so once you get this you can leave your lens to extend there you go now at this point uh, you can get uh, back into the thing uh, menu and you can access the whole settings of the camera you can play with it do have open do settings you can change the mode and stuff like that there we go so yeah that was the viewfinder anyway i saw the okay you can change the mode so to find this trick it took me many hours of playing with this camera so please hit that like button below share this video subscribe to my channel okay so let's get back into the video access your pictures and uh, do the settings uh, camera uh, will not only give you the warnings instead <laughs> so yeah now i can play as much time as i want and i can also use the viewfinder so you can see there viewfinder works lcd works all the things work so yeah okay guys so now let's move on to the permanent fix of this camera so start by taking apart your camera with the screws on the bottom and side and using your nails you can easily pry apart bottom frame of the camera then after that you need to remove the key pair you can easily lift up with a screwdriver now you need to access the lens assembly of the camera for that we need to remove all of the components and also be careful about the connectors particularly the lcd connector if you bend too much it can break very easily so please enjoy the process Okay guys, so this is our lens assembly. As you can see, to ensure, I'm checking the focus motor with my multimeter. 
I'm checking for the continuity. Yeah, I found that motor is okay. But this white plastic part you see right here, for some unknown reasons, it moved to the topmost side of the motor. And I can also feel that it's jammed in the threaded rod. This might have happened due to the unexpected drop of the camera or something like that. The way this motor works is pretty simple. The threaded rod in the middle of plastic nut you see rotates and thereby the nut travels along with it. Oh, this is getting too much technical so I will skip all the rest. Anyways guys, so I rotated the rod many times back and forth and traveled the nut across the other side closer towards the motor. Now you can see motor can able to rotate freely as well as the nut can travel along with it. Okay, so looks like our focus mechanism should work. And the most important part, to fit back the motor as it was before, you have to engage the plastic nut into the recess that it travels inside. Uh, please take your time and do it correctly, otherwise you have to open up your camera again. So yeah, that's annoying. So now I'm repeating all the screws and parts as it was before. Also you can take the help of your tweezers to fit back the ribbon cables and here it is guys our camera is ready okay guys so this is the moment of the truth let's see if the camera turns on so there it is guys looks like the error is gone and here it is as you can see I'm checking the zoom function yeah it seems to be working as well previously it was not working and focus is also working as you can see I can touch to focus uh, now the object is too close that's why it's not working but here you can see I'm placing the object and yeah it seems to be focusing pretty good so there it is guys we have solved this issue very easily so hope you enjoyed this video please share this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more content like this and there is always thanks for watching guys peace goodbye